I actually have a new girlfriend now, and uh, very excited, very excited. My, my, girl, my girlfriend and I were doing very well, and uh, but here's the big thing: we're very sexually compatible, and that, that's a very important thing, right? That like, well, you know, you don't want to say it because it's embarrassing, but that's a really important thing. Like, uh, like my last girlfriend, my first American girlfriend, we were not sexually compatible. Like, she was into like really rough, aggressive sex, and I'm Canadian. You know what I mean? Like, unless you're dressed like a hockey player, I have a hard time going at you. So. Uh, <laughs> Give it a shot, you know, let's see what we can do. So, uh, first time we're having sex, this is true. First time we're having sex, halfway through sex, she yells, Choke me. <laughs> and to me, that's a very delicate thing to do to a person, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like it would be a very fine line between, you know, she's into it and then she's unconscious, there's cops everywhere, <laughs> you know, and I'm on a rape website the next year. Like, it's like two pounds of pressure difference between those scenarios. <laughs> And so, like, so she yelled it, and it was like the heat of the moment, but I didn't really want to do it, but I didn't know what to say, so I was just like, nah. <laughs> nah. That's what I came up with. And, uh, she stopped immediately, and I didn't, like, I didn't slip that through somehow. She stopped, she, she goes, when I tell you to choke me, fucking choke me. <laughs> and I was like, I, I, Captain? I don't even know what to call you anymore. You're terrifying. <laughs> So then the next time we have sex, and like she, you know, I know it's coming, but I don't really want to do it, but I don't know how to get out of it, right? So she's like, choke me, and I'm like, oh, fuck, uh, chokey, chokey, <laughs> grr, I'm gonna get you. Like, I didn't really know what to do. So... But I just think, like, in my defense, I feel like if I was in a controlled environment, I could do a problem. You know what I mean? Like if I had like a choke dummy, maybe, at first, to practice on, hooked up to monitors with scientists helping me out, you know? I'm sure I could do just the right amount of pressure. I'm very athletic. But, but I'm having sex. I'm in the middle of having sex, and you want me to focus on also not killing you? Like, sex is very distracting. Like, I remember one time I was having sex, and I realized there's an apple in my mouth. And I'm like, did I go to the refrigerator? What the fuck happened? Like, we can't do anything else. But then she, like, so then she starts, like, basically questioning my manhood about it, right? So then I'm like, well, then fine. Next time, I'm gonna fucking chuck this bitch around. You know what I mean? Like, let's climb up on this horse and kick it in the side and see what happens. So, so the next time we have sex, and I fucking threw shit down. Like, I was very impressive. Like, there was, like, a strobe light, I think. Um, I think a chair got lit on fire halfway through. I might have thrown a burrito at her. I'm not really sure what happened. Bit of a blur. But, uh, but I remember afterwards thinking to myself, like, laying in bed, and I'm like, well done, sir. Good job, soldier. You know? Yeah, you manned up, right? And so I wanted to ask how it was, but I wanted to be cool about it, so I was just like, so, um... That was pretty good, right? And she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I really feel like I can start letting loose with you. And I was like, um, start, bitch, that's all I have. I don't know what else to do. Like, I looked shit up online to do to you, you know? I didn't bookmark the page. I can't repeat that. Like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna fuck you with a lava lamp. I don't even know what you want from me. <laughs> like, if I come home and you're dressed like Rambo and try to taser my balls, I'm gonna call the cops. not a three-hour recreation of a prison in Fallujah, you know? Like, that's too far, really. So I knew I had to break up with her, and, uh, but I didn't break up for a while, because the blowjobs were amazing, right? Like, seriously, she would come at me like a thirsty hamster on its bottle. Uh, which isn't the best technique, but a 